What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We are going to be doing top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 and top snipes of the week. So guys, before we get into the video, smash that like button, drop the sub, and yes, um, hope you guys did enjoy your fourth. Uh, I had a pretty good time, and uh, yeah guys, we have some top snipe filters and whatnot. We're pretty much just going to throw up a ton of snipes throughout the week in this video. So um, I'm going to show some snipe filters, I'm going to just snipe, chill out, talk a little bit about the game, and uh, as you can see, my MT is up there. I sold most of my players. I will be running my no money spent squad. Um, this is all grinded out challenges and whatnot, and obviously AD and Wade. So pretty much a Nat squad. And yeah, guys, this squad is pretty damn deadly. We're gonna try to go for Beasley. We were eight and zero, and we ended up losing to some scrub uh, by two. Um, bailed out the whole game. That's how it usually happens. But yo, you're not here for that. You guys are here for top snipe filters. So. Uh, let's go over one snipe I did get this week, and it was LaMelo Ball, guys. I did snipe out LaMelo Ball for 100,000 MT, and, uh, how did I do that? So, one of the best filters in the game, man, Galaxy Opal next. You have a chance of sniping Edwards. You have a chance of sniping, uh, Edwards, um, Wiseman, and LaMelo Ball. So, I'm gonna show you right now what you need to do to do that. So, pretty much... You're just going to buy Cole Anthony, and I'm also going to throw my uh, LaMelo Ball Snipe on the screen if I didn't already. Um, so you want to buy out Cole Anthony, Oneka, and RJ Hampton for around 200,000 MT combined. Once you do do that, you would just want to go to next, enabled, and yes, I did have all of them. I ended up selling them because I got bored of sniping. Um, here it is, man. Galaxy will next, and you pretty much just want to go like this and press enable. Make sure you do press enable if you do have the players. I have none of the players, so there's no point in me pressing enable. But you get the point, man. You need RJ Hampton, Cole Anthony, and Oneka. And then after that, man, you could simply snipe out Wiseman, LaMelo, and Edwards easily. So, uh, yeah, that's one way to snipe. And uh, we'll throw up some snipes, man. Shout out to Simba for this snipe, man. He got Curry for 100K, Muggsy Bogues for 100K, Big W's. I'll throw up that screenshot on the screen. But, yo, um, there's been a lot going on. Uh, honestly, is this the last content we get? Probably not, but in my opinion... In my opinion, I don't know, man. I don't know what's really going on anymore in 2K. Right now, we just have a ton of Opals. Pretty much, I think they ran out of cards to pretty much use. Um, I would like to see a Willis Reed Opal, but that's not the point. You guys are here for top snipe filters. So, let's go over another snipe filter. Uh, 650 snipe filter, man. It's going to be slow on Sunday, especially after the 4th of July. So, it might be a slow day to snipe. Not going to lie, a very slow day to snipe. So... If you don't snipe anything today, it's it makes sense, man. No one's really going to be on 2K, but you don't have to refresh on the snipe anymore. That's why there is a searching bar. So right there, Hassan Whiteside for 600 MT. You can make a little decent MT off of it, but honestly, some people have been getting opals on this. Some people have been getting a crazy amount of stuff on this. So it's up to you if you want to sit on the 600 filter. It's pretty much just pure luck and honestly, pure skill. You do have to be a very good sniper to do that but yeah let's throw up some other snipes we're just gonna throw up all the snipes throughout the video man so it's pretty much top snipe filters and top whatever so uh yeah let's get into the next snipe filter it is galaxy opal around twenty five thousand mt it's pretty much just the cheapest galaxy opal snipe filter you never know what could pop up on this filter i've seen mj for two thousand mt we are gonna put that up on the screen but yeah man the market's actually pretty high today if you guys do want to sell i would recommend selling your cards today if you didn't do so um, but as you can see, man, Jason Kidd, Larry Hughes, they're all up in value, surprisingly, because they are the worst Opals, Rod Strickland, um, what is it, Larry Hughes, Rod Strickland, Terry, Sarunas, and uh, Jason Kidd, they're all pretty cheap, man, so here we go, um, this is a very good snipe builder, man, this is one of the best snipe filters in the game, I've seen Galaxy Oval MJ, I've seen a ton of stuff going down, so definitely try out this snipe filter, it's definitely a very good snipe filter, and uh, yeah, we're just going to continue to snipe. 
Um, so we got this Galaxy Oval filter. Let's get into another filter, man. Uh, the heat check filter is still popping to this day. Um, I don't know how or why, but they're still going for a pretty decent amount of MT. They're all around above 3,000 MT, and I guess it's because of tokens. I guess it is. I guess tokens are valuable, man. Dmar is in the market. Dmar is insane. Amari Stoudemire is in there, and I actually do have enough for two Galaxy Opals, so I might have to cash out. Um, but then again. They might drop a GOAT card, so I don't know if I would cash out yet. It's completely up to you, man, but it's a, it really is just completely up to you how you're feeling and what you really want to do. But uh, other than that, man, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of other snipe filters we're going to go over here, man. It's Pink Diamond Snipe Filter. You never know what you're going to get on this one either. People throw out Pink Diamonds for like 1K, 2K, and they're going for like 30 But then again, man, Pink Diamond Snipe Filter doesn't really have that much profit range anymore as it used to um pink diamonds are up a lot if you guys did invest in some lillards and whatnot they went up a lot in value man so let's see um lillard was going for like three ish four ish k five thousand one hundred for uh rondo over there so uh you can put your filter to like 4800 i guess and just try to snipe it really just depends how lucky you do get on this filter you could maybe get a paul george or something like that for the low and potentially sell them for around 20k um, another very good snipe filter that's been good for a very long time, Manute Bowl, man. Manute Bowl is another good snipe filter, man. Manute Bowl, pretty much, you would just go like this. Sapphire Manute Bowl, man, was 70,000 MT. Now he's around, he's over 100K. Um, he's honestly one of the most rare cards in this game, and it really makes no sense. Meanwhile, the Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond Manute, in my opinion, is goaded. He's, I think he's one of my favorite cards in the game. I just got him for 24K. Quick little snipe, he's going for around 28, and then he'll probably rise to 35, because he is 7-7, man. He could shoot threes. Compared, him and Bol Bol together are complete goats, so if you guys want to try that out, I would recommend, man, Bol Bol is filthy. He's nice. With Manute Bol, bro, they become goats, so just picked up Manute Bol for cheap. I think he's worth every penny, and I think that, I, was that a shoe on him too? And we got a shoe on him, so huge W right there, 24K snipe. Um, you want to look out Manu Bowl and then one of the flashes with red and uh, it's Flash 5, I believe. It's Flash with uh, red and Wiggins. Yeah, this one is very good too, man. Red is still good in this game. So is Wiggins. So very good snipe filter right here. Uh, I think you could set your minimum whatever. Oh, wow. Wiggins did drop, but 15K, 14K for Michael Red, man. I think those are snipes. I'm not totally sure though, but... Today, I think this Snipe Filter is good, especially when they drop Super Packs. This Snipe Filter is always cash. So, you know what? This one has a limited contracts. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to throw it up for 20k and hope for the best. But as you guys can see, there is a lot of Snipes to go by. You could honestly just search by team. You could just search by anything, bro. Right now, since it is endgame, you're going to see a ton of Snipes just pile up like crazy. You're going to see pretty much everywhere you go a Snipe. Like, you could literally look up. You like Giannis? Let's look up Giannis. This is another good snipe filter, man. Uh, Giannis, what is it? Center? Giannis center, man. Let's get a snipe real quick. This is also another good snipe filter because he wasn't in packs that long ago. Uh, 60K, 57K, 56K. You always want to look for shoes and contracts and snipes too because people do buy them for that extra MT. But yeah, man, this is also another good snipe filter. Giannis is still goaded, guys. Giannis is still goaded. His defense is sick, man. You really do want to use this as a center high key. But yeah, Giannis as center would be sick. He is 6'11". So definitely try out this snipe filter as well. You could pretty much just go by teams. And honestly, for the rest of the video, we're just going to throw up even more snipes. But uh, yeah, I'm probably missing some snipe filters. There's also Enable. There's also Prime Series 3. There's a ton of snipe filters, man. I think this is the one. No, it's Prime Series 3. This is also a very good snipe filter, man. And also, if you guys did invest in Prime Series cards, they did rise a little bit. Um, Luca went up about a little bit. Lamar Oda went about 50K. Um, yeah, I kind of took an L on the Prime, but whatever, man. Let's check out Kawhi before we do in this video. And uh, yeah, that's really it, man. There's just a lot to talk about. A lot of sniping, a lot of investments. But Kawhi is going for cheap. I'm actually going to bid on this card for like 350 See if we get him. Um, I don't know. There is six minutes left. I will probably get outbidded, but let's check it. 375 wow okay never mind we're gonna try out this one hope for the best wish me luck as Kawhi is goaded we're gonna go about 370k on him real quick and then yeah that's really all i got for the video i hope you guys did enjoy have a good one stay tuned for more content peace